Well, held on by one point. How's the heart going? Oh, yeah, there's a few more grey hairs poking out yeah, towards the end of that game. Well, yeah, clearly got to be a little bit lucky. With that last stoppage, we want to execute better. We don't want to allow them through the corridor. Uh, in there, uh, Logan obviously didn't score, um, which was very fortunate for us. Um, yeah, so we we'll, we we'll let it we we'll, yeah take the win, but we got a little bit lucky in those that last couple of minutes. Before even looking at the last quarter, the mids put on an outstanding performance that first half. How how were you evaluating that? Yeah, well, yeah, they've been pretty good all year. Uh, and mids haven't been beaten very often, and um, yeah, they're well prepared by Joel Corey. Uh, I think they yeah, all played their role really well and you know, asked a question of Sydney midfield um, and you know, forced a little bit of change, which um, helped us in, in other ways, um, especially towards the back end of the, of the game. So I uh, thought it was, yeah, they, they got it done through um, a collective. Nat Five, he didn't necessarily play a strict tagging role on Isaac Heaney, but mm. he did limit his... Impact. How, how did you rate that? Yeah, I, you know, Fife, he just wants to help us win. And, um, yeah, it sort of gave him the role to monitor Heaney, um, especially around stoppage. He just, you know, he's, he's a bull in there. He's, he, he leads their, um, he leads their clearances across the year. Had 10 clearances last 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 week. Um, and the, the, the clearance work gives him a lot of field position, and their field position is hard to, to um, hard to buffer. So I'm going to try to stop it at the source and... Um, Fife put his hand up for that role and yeah, quitted himself well. And he was able to. He had. I thought he had some really good moments later in the game um, where his you know age and experience really shone through in what was yeah pretty chaotic moments. Um, the defeat would have been if Travis Gibb had got beaten. Then you've been the best team for for most of the game. Uh, yeah, footy doesn't really work like that, do, no. that does it? But, I mean, it just. A couple of games earlier in the year where we were probably the better team and lost, and uh, uh, yeah, I, I've seen other teams buckle under that pressure, yeah. though. And I said to the players after the game, well, I didn't think we buckled. We got a few things wrong, and they got on top through the contest and their spread, and had some good looks. But I didn't, I didn't think we we buckled under their pressure yeah. uh, away from home against you know team three games clear on top of the ladder it, it's easy to do feel the pressure and go into your shell and um yeah allow, allow them to get right on top and score but felt like we stayed really connected um we were able to execute the plan the best we could and um yeah i think we deserved the win because the, the swans have been, you know, been anyone the swans have been. Obviously, been slow started, and I think three. Uh, this is the fourth time in five games that they've been behind at half time, and they've come back to win the other three. So I guess it's a major feather in your cap that they did. Well, it is, and we spoke about it all week. And sometimes it can be a little bit of a negative thing, but it's a real thing against Sydney. You know, teams get a run on; uh, they get a run on, and teams just can't handle it. Um, it looked like in the third quarter they were going to break away a few times, but I was really proud of the way we kept on responding. Um, you know, they've been kicking runs of you know, five to ten goals in those periods in a row. So it was a big focus of ours to make sure we keep coming back to the plan, keep connecting um, and yeah, try and buffer their momentum. You were missing Alex Pierce this game and you also had a younger back line. Mm. They, they stood up. How, do you, how proud of you are they? <clears throat> well, I think, um, I think we're the youngest team in the comp this, year, this week. So to travel with a plan and... Um, for young players to stand up was what we needed going into the game, and we've been having a mantra of you know seats in the boat, and make, if someone's missing, you just fill that seat in the boat, which really comes back to roles. Um, and uh, I thought Drapes in particular did a great job. Uh, it looked like you know, McLean in particular was going to, yeah, well he was hurting us in the air, especially in that first half. But some of his contests. Um, in that last quarter, when he was probably out of position to get back, find body, get it over the uh, over the yeah points, uh, or or just go up the ball and mark it himself. I thought, yeah, he really stood up when we needed him. Uh, I think you know the senior guys down there were really good organisers. Um, you know, Luke Ryan was amazing with his you know, organisation, um, his commitment to the contest, his composure under pressure. Um, yeah, I don't want to start naming names because you know, I think largely we uh, they all executed roles. On Josh Strafford in particular, FA Waffle last week, how, how pleased are you with how he responded in coming straight back? Uh, yeah, really, really pleased. Like, 
you know, looking at today's game, is, is that if that's the first time you ever seen him play, you wouldn't think he played, you know, a dozen games. Uh, he's got some, you know, serious serious athletic talent talent um, uh, for for a young player, uh, and you know, just really pleased with the way he backed himself today. Um, you know, we've been on to him about playing with an assertive mindset and being decisive and trusting himself and backing himself in and. Uh, I just thought he did that today in, in most contests. The job that Nat Fife did on Isaac Heaney today, <clears throat> um, what was the thinking behind that and how pleased were you with how it worked? Well, Fife is... Uh, I've already answered that question, but you were late. Um, he, he, wants to, he wants to help us win. Um, Fife doesn't look at how many possessions he gets after, after the game. He, he, he looks at, can I, can I play a role to help the team win? Last week he did a slightly different role for us, which I, I thought um, on review was really effective for us, given who we're playing and their strengths. Uh, and yeah, I said to him earlier in the week, this could be a possibility and he was all for it. He wants to contribute to a winning team. And um, I think we can all say that he did that today. What do you think the key has been to unlocking Sam Sturt's recent form? Really good few weeks. Uh, continuity. Yeah, he's, um, I think probably the last month is the first time within since Christmas, or even before Christmas, he's had a block where he's been able to um, stay out in the park. He's been interrupted. I think we saw what he can add to the team back end of last year, and then just had a yeah interrupted pre-season. So it's really continuity because um, yeah, he's got speed. He can mark the ball. He's a great finisher, and yeah, he just we need to keep him out there. And um, it's a really courageous effort today. He was under a cloud coming in, and. Um, yeah, really committed and was really important to us. Can you um, expand on, on him being under a cloud? Was there an issue there, Jim? Oh, he's had a little issue with his knee. And, um, yeah, just wasn't feeling it anywhere near 100% this morning. Are you claiming injury-wise out of tackle, like Brennan Yeah, like Brennan, uh, I don't know, I think he stubbed his toe. And he got a little bit of an AC joint. Um, so he's a bit banged up. But, yeah, he got that looked after at half-time and, yeah, really pleased with the way he responded and um, was able to play under that. Um, stress in, in the um, second half. Given the benchmark and the on the road, where does this sit among all wins? Oh, I don't, you know, I don't do that. Like, um, you know, like I said at the start, we got we were a bit lucky at the end. There's plenty we can learn. Um, thought we were able to, you know, hold up under their momentum. Uh, yeah, but we came here with a plan. We wanted to play with the right mindset. We wanted to buffer their momentum, and really pleased with the way we were able to do most most of those things. If all goes well in the bottom today, is the plan for Brennan Cox to play next week? Oh, if we can squeeze him in. Thank you. Thank you.